type it in and she'll let us know. So, um, yeah, we're up in our game, right? No we're, cords. No cords. <laughs> oh my gosh. We're going to be professional. We need wireless mics. So, uh, we're going to give this a go. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, do you know what, Candice? What if you were to, do we have internet now? Oh, okay. good. Sorry. So here I am talking about new mics, but the internet in this corner. We are never taping in this corner again. Okay. Okay, please we'll remind us. Never tape in this corner. There's something about the internet is just not good. Yeah. Not strong. Uh, thank you so much for joining us this morning. If you are there, please say good morning. We are talking today about babies, kids' rooms, children's rooms, all that. Mm -hmm. I have a question for you while we, oh, before boy. we start. Okay. I just can't throw this out. All right. When you had your first child, yeah, that would be your son, uh -huh. um, how did you decorate his room? Oh, gosh. You know what? Okay, so I was pretty young. We were renting a suite, and I didn't ask if I was allowed to put up a wallpaper border. Yeah. So then when we moved out, my landlord's like, oh, you, did, you didn't ask to put that up. And I, I did. Anyway, I was like, I, it never even occurred to so me. So what was the border? So it was like little bunnies, and yeah, it was super cute. It was like green with little bunnies. <laughs> but yeah, cute. Cute. we were renting, so I couldn't do a whole lot. And we had lots of hand-me-downs, and you know. I was, I was a baby too. <laughs> He's 26 now. Well, enter into our world chalk paint. Right? Um, yes. So we're going to talk everything kids rooms today because chalk paint is totally baby safe, toy mm -hmm. safe after it has cured both the paint and the wax, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. So there are so many things you can do with the hand-me-downs, exactly. with creating uh, themes and how you can really bring together a child's room um, beautifully on a budget. Right. Right. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Yeah. yeah? Watching. Hi. Grace is watching. Good morning. Yay. Watching. <laughs> Hi. Uh, where do we even start? I know. Look at, um, oh, okay. So last week we didn't even have a baby section. This week we've got, who's got a baby <laughs> section? Okay. Children okay. section. Yeah. Yes. I'm so move over. let's, let's, should we just start in the front and move with Okay. Like, First of okay, all, wall paint. Ooh. Annie Sloan has wall paint. So we have chosen um, a slight pink. Pink and then this fun, bright green, right? So I'm the girl and you're the boy. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that? the first thing you can do is paint the baby's room, right? And even if you don't know if it's a boy or a girl, we do have some really beautiful colors. And these are very low VOC, perfect for a child's room. Yeah. So look at, there's 32 colors. All gorgeous, all really bright artist This This Coltsville green is great if you're having a boy or a girl and you're not sure which. So is this, actually. Right? And yeah. they're a beautiful matte finish. If you've been following our stories, you know that I just painted my studio. And I love the finish. Like, Do it's you? It's gorgeous. And we matte. haven't even talked about I it. I know. And it's super scrubbable. Well, that's what she said it yeah, is. Yeah, so. I know. I so like, that's good. Especially. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. Um, next thing. Let's talk about using recycled items in the baby's room. Ah, so this yes. is a great flea market score. Maybe it's been handed down from grandma. Right. It is a magazine holder that we have used Annie Sloan chalk paint on and some image transfers and stamps. But this is the perfect thing to go beside your rocker uh, where you're nursing or yeah. for baby's books, right? Little kids' books. Yeah, yeah. super sweet. I found another thrifted item that Candace has been working on, right? So she's added all kinds of IOD products to this, as well as the Annie Sloan chalk paint. So you've done a really thick finish on the base, and then there's some clay and transfers, and you've, you've painted the shade itself. So if you want to see how Candace has done this, we will put the link in um, the comments right after. Yeah. So you can watch her create this from so beginning to end. So chalk paint and iron orchid uh, image transfers and molds and stuff is a great way to theme up a space, right? Yeah. Um, to create a, without overdoing it. You know, when I say theme, I always think of back in the day, you remember when roosters were in, <laughs> in the kitchen and I was like, oh, yes, <laughs> enough is enough. Yeah, that's right. Um, let's talk about this little green set. Oh, it's adorable. Okay. I'm going to come in close stuff. Candace and show people. So Candace has created another beautiful <clears throat> little item. Look at, so she's used the alphabet stamp on here. So iron orchid designs has a few different alphabet stamps. And um, I'll show you some of those. Plus, she's put, look at the little bunny mold on the back of that chair. It's adorable. Okay, so if you don't know what a mold is, this is what it looks like when you get it. And you're going to use, um, we sell clay that you can press into here. 
and that's the little bunny, and it comes with all kinds of cute things. There's a rooster. <laughs> ah, see, I told you. <laughs> yeah, can't get rid of the rooster. And then alphabet stamps. There's these two other options as well. I think that we've even got more downstairs. But this one I found that was interesting. If you can find resin, you can fill these letters up with resin, and you can use that as well. So you can use outdoors. To make signs. Yeah, even. yeah, signs. So you can use it as a stamp. Or a mold, which I thought so was this little cute. table, I don't think traditionally it was like a kid's table. So you can yes. look, you can thrift like dining room side tables or little plant stands and make mm -hmm. them into something for the kids' room. And using the alphabet like this is a great way to teach the alphabet as well um, yeah. when you're spending that quality time together. But super cute. Nice job, Candace. Thank you. And yeah. Look at so cute. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Just little accessories we have around the store. I thought that this was adorable to go with it. What if you yeah. build this with little building blocks or something? Yeah, or, or teddy bears. Yeah. So this is child, but not overkill. Right. You know, it's still mm -hmm. we want it to look nice, and but we want them to enjoy it as well. Exactly. So here's another little table set. Now this is your typical little child <laughs> set. It's adorable. Um, adorable. That it was originally painted brown, but painted quite poorly. So right. we've just used the Annie Sloan chalk paint on top and kind of dry brushed it and distressed it. So you never have to worry if, you know, at one point the kid throws this across the room right. or it's just anything like get that. Better looking, I It'll think. just get better. Mm -hmm. And then we customized it again with one of the Iron Orchid stamps, which right. is the bunny and the laurel. So I brought the bunny stamp. You can see when you're purchasing them. And then again, there's a rooster and different farm animals. It's adorable bunny. Oh. So I use the um, stamp with this bunny, but which mm -hmm. is a black ink. But you can also get different colored inks, and you can also right. use the chalk paint yeah. to do this, right? Grab so, a brayer at the same time. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be just on furniture. You can make art with this. You can make huge. You could do it on the wall. Right. Let's talk walls, actually. Ah. Since we did talk about um, chalk paint, or, oh, and I maybe you that. put something on the furniture, yeah. and maybe something in art. So it all matches and flows. Right. Oh, great. Yeah. Okay. But what a great um, idea, um, rather than the cost of wallpaper, right? To buy super cute wallpaper is super expensive. This can be done really easily. So mm -hmm. we have lots of different stencils you could use in a baby's room. I wanted to share this little rocker. Okay, so. You know, you might want some um, child pieces in your living room as well. And I thought that this would work like that, right? Like you could have this match your actual living room oh, furniture and yeah, have yeah. a little chair in your living room. Yeah, without looking baby. Right? Yeah. yeah. So you might not want a bright green chair in your living room. Look at that. Look how adorable this is. So this is French linen, right? And then at nap time, you do this. So then it looks pretty for you. Yeah. <laughs> So cute. Well, at some point, the baby, I mean, it's the baby. This is a little person, yeah. right? But yeah. Most of this is right. the little people. But well, I yeah. still, like, when your baby's born, don't you still have a table and chairs? And they're just waiting? I, like, <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. You know, that, it reminds me of when I was born. I think my mom said I slept in a drawer. Oh. And nowadays, <laughs> you're like, I need the crib. I need the change table. I need, you know. And Did then, you actually use your crib and stuff? I, okay. I did to stack clothes. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. I keep losing sound. Oh, oh no. Sorry. It's our new mics. Oh, and our internet. 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 Yeah. Uh, sorry. Um, Sid Dickens? Yeah, there is some adorable Sid Dickens. For Look at this for a little baby's room. Mm -hmm. And you could, it's so cute. So this is Sir Frog, and we had a question. Yeah, who is Sir Frog? Is it Beatrice? He's Potter? a bow legged bachelor. <laughs> oh. Maybe you don't want this in your baby's room. <laughs> yeah. 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 But is it a is it Beatrice is it an, Potter stories? I think it if is. you know who this man is, <laughs> if you if you can identify this man, please let us know in the comments below. It might even be Sid's like Sid Dickens' own version of like maybe it's not exactly the same. I don't know. But. He's waiting for a true love's kiss. Oh, adorable. Okay, so you can put even Sid Dickens, a nice baby gift idea. We have ones that say birth. We have a flying pig. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, really cute. Patrice says you need a section for baby and children. That's exactly what we've just done. Yeah, yes. that's kind of what we're going to create, yeah. I think. Yeah. yeah. I, I have a feeling that this is just going to grow, this section, because, you yeah. know, we all love baby things. So here are some chalk paint suggestive colors. Mm -hmm. Paloma is kind of a gray purple really neutral. Again, you're not sure what you're having, 
Right. This is a great, and because it's neutral, you can add any color later. Mm -hmm. If you wanted to add pink later when it's a baby girl, or you want to add blue Definitely. later, mm -hmm. right? We're so traditional, pink and blue. <laughs> There's lots of colors in between. <laughs> Let's put Paloma in between. Okay. Okay. There we go. This vanity is adorable. So you could actually put a change pad on top, right? And use it for your changing mm -hmm. table and have diapers and different things in the drawers if you wanted, well, baskets underneath. I keep thinking that we're connected, but I can walk oh, around. Yeah. Um, so that's a great idea because you could put baskets underneath or oh. even um, because the oh, paint the sticks to galvanized, mm -hmm. you could put something like this um, baby or diaper right. or whatever and just load this up with your diapers Sweet. or mm -hmm. whatever, right? Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then later, this could be a desk or... Really you know, multi-purpose. Multi-purpose, yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And yeah. it's nice because you can move it into any spaces. It doesn't just That's have to right. be in a baby's room later on. Yeah, it doesn't right? have to be pink forever. It can, right? With yeah. any phone, you can change it so easily. I was just going to say, as the child grows, they don't want pink anymore. You don't have to sand this mm -hmm. off. You can just paint right over the right original over, finish. Right over the wax. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what else do you have there? Anything? Um, well, I just wanted to show that we do have a few accessories that you could use, right? So pillows... These are great just to oh, go I'm with anything. So there's pink, there's blue, there's all kinds of neutral colors, um, and just layer. Well, I wanted to show this carpet because oh. look at yeah. boy or girl. This yeah, is a good really neutral. Nice. Mm -hmm. um, and again, it looks pretty for you because yeah, really it's kind be of real. all about us. Yeah. <laughs> Baby probably does not care, but we do. <laughs> when Max was born, uh, we lived in Walnut Grove, and I did his room up like a vintage fishing cabin. Aww. So I stenciled, hand stenciled, little fish all around here, and then I had a gun rack hanging with antique um, fishing rods. Aww. And I loved it. You know, yeah. he, he didn't notice. <laughs> yeah. Max, if you're watching, this is probably why you're such an outdoorsman today. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Mama. Did we show this? So we, we're sold out of this at the moment because it's so super popular. But this is one of the transfers that has all kinds of gorgeous stuff in it. It's called uh, Whispering Willow. So on the back, you can see there's lots of things you could use for a baby's room, like little bunnies and birds and, oops, hedgehogs and different things. Mushrooms, how adorable. Yeah. So we will get this back in stock ASAP. The other thing we have that you can customize a baby's room with is decoupage papers. Right. If you want to make custom art, or do around. something on the front of a dresser. So I just happened to pick this one, so with the little bumblebees on it. <laughs> but how cute is yeah. that for some custom? And then you could use the Iron Orchid stamp and write the baby's name, Laurel, across it or something, and put it in an old window frame. Right? Sorry, Janine, I'm No, totally it's okay, I, I don't know but what to stand. I wanna give you I, as many ideas as possible on how you can use all this, right? Well, remember these suitcases that Candace did? Yeah. How sweet. Can you see it? So she's got the little uh, fairies on here. You could just like store clothing in here and stuff and stack them and use them for a side table. Put your lamp on them, right? Like well, I, I was saying that if you had grandma's luggage, mm -hmm. who did not keep their Barbie clothes right? in exactly. that little thing, that right? That little makeup one, the right? train case. We all yeah. had our Barbie clothes in I it. I still have so my Barbie clothes in mine with my girl clutch badges. <laughs> Am I a hoarder? I hoarder. <laughs> um, but, yes. Yeah. So I'm just thinking, if you're a grandma and you want to gift your child something, pull out your luggage, do a little decoupage, customizing. You could paint it. You could decoupage it. You could put any of the molds on it. And then maybe you fill it with a homemade baby clothes or Lego, filled it with Lego if it's a little boy, boy it yeah. up. And then he can carry his Lego around. So sweet. Or girls use Lego too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Adorable. Any um, little signs and stuff, right? You can customize anything. Like, just make a little nameplate or whatever on. Like, I think this is an old sign that had something else on it. Mm -hmm. So really, all this furniture here has been repurposed. Mm -hmm. um, we also, I'm just going to take a little close here you can <laughs> use the Annie Sloan chalk paint on wicker right, right? so wicker baskets wicker mirrors yeah. you can customize this sort of and the image transfers also stick to glass or uh, mirror so you could put mm -hmm. something like um, you are loved or uh, you know um, grow and be strong or I don't know <laughs> all those inspirational worlds yeah 
yeah, because just like we all have baskets like this, right? I just painted a strip along the bottom and use them for different things to coordinate that way. This is a perfect sweet. place to throw their toys at the mm -hmm. end of the day, even again in your living room. Yeah. You know, and you can carry the toys out at the end of the day so that you don't have to sit with the clutter. Yeah. Do you have pictures of your children sitting in these baskets? I do. Mm. Oh, probably. <laughs> yeah. um, the other thing I wanted to mention is the stack of books. So when you're decorating the baby's room, you could take some old books, uh -huh. chalk paint them, add the um, decoupage. Right. Right? Um, and just stick it with the theme, color coordinate, uh -huh. re reuse the color um, without being overkill. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um, I couldn't find my magazine this morning, but I wanted to say, because we have the glaze back in stock. Right, the Anisone glaze. So oh, you could paint your wall and then do stripes. You couldn't stripes. find that magazine. I know. My, okay, so Janine was in a magazine, not her. Her house was in a magazine. But my yeah. daughter's room, we had done glazed stripes on the wall. So yeah. it's just a shimmer. It just like the paint comes through the color underneath. So I had pink, and then that's the glazed stripes. I needed Cynthia here today. She's in tomorrow. She has the magazine. <laughs> so it just gives you that little bit of difference. Right. It's really yeah. pretty. Yeah, really mm. pretty. And you could do that with the stencil as well. So the little bunnies don't have to be like a certain color. They could just be glazed on. Ah, just like pearl, right? That's a good anything? idea. Mm -hmm. We're full of ideas. And we have <laughs> lots of things here to decorate a baby's room oh, as this. well, right? So oh, if you are decorating a baby's room or you're pregnant, you want some ideas, we would love to help you. I know mm -hmm. we're typically a home decor store, but I think we're going to lean a little bit more into this. Uh, lots of mommies out there. Um, mm -hmm. And I just remember how important it was for me to create just the best baby's room that I wa yeah. wanted, but that would also inspire the kids. Um, I mean, just look mm -hmm. what it did to Max. I mean, look at it. <laughs> Um, and vintage beds too. There's so many twin beautiful vintage beds out there and I think both my kids had them. One was white, one was black. And yeah. It's just really pretty. You could use them as day beds up against the wall if you're concerned about yeah. the rolling off. I mean there's lots of things. And we get different bed frames all the time. We do have some right now. And um, anything else we want to cover today about kids and coming here to, did we show this? No, like let me show the little transfer. Isn't this cute? Candace made this for her <laughs> grandson. So when they come to visit, you could, like if you're a grandma or um, even a, um, a mom, you can put this outside on the front, mm -hmm. you know, and say, just baby sleeping if you want to keep your house quiet. But I don't recommend that. I think your baby should sleep. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> what? You can never talk about baby without giving advice. <laughs> All right. Is he wearing an undershirt? Oh, God. Yeah. Anyway, um, next week we are here. You are not here. I'm away. I don't know what's going on this month. <laughs> um, Candace is going to join me, mm -hmm. and Candace and I are going to talk about all the new workshops coming in September. Yeah. So the month of August has been Inspiration Month, where all of Annie Sloan is 20% off. We have not Perfect taught. Perfect time to come and get yeah. the paint. Yeah, come and get it get it now and then yeah. take a workshop in September. So mm -hmm. we haven't taught any workshops this month, but we get asked every day. So we have created a whole new lineup uh, of workshops and we are going to review them next Friday yeah. at 9.30, <laughs> live here. We are going to put them live on, well, some of them are some already. Of them, there's a sneak peek already. They don't have any dates, or, um, but they're, all the information is there. So you on our website, website, right? Mm -hmm. Thepassionatehome.com. Um, yeah. So we're going to review them and add to them as right. we are releasing some really fun fall ones too. Super and all the new workshops will cover all the products we sell. So if you ever wondered, how does a mold work? Right. Um, then you might want to look for that workshop. Yeah? yeah. Sound good? Mm -hmm. Big thing happening here tomorrow. Tomorrow is Arts Alive. The whole Fraser Highway one way is going to be closed down and there's going to be so many beautiful artists out there. We're, we're going to be painting under the tent out there. Um, yeah. Yeah, Over 200 that. artists, live performances, bands, food. Yeah, it's food all free. Wear your sunscreen. Bring your water. <laughs> bring your chalk paint questions. Come and see us. Um, you're right. We will be out, and it'll be such a fun, fun day. It's so fun. I love it. So the, we wanted to cover that, and there was one other thing. Do you know what it was? was let, me, let me check my notes. <laughs> uh, oh, no. Workshops, Arts Alive, yeah, and next week. That was it. So please, I'm sorry today about our... Yeah, our in and out. Our in and out.
We think of In and Out Burger. Our In and Out. Um, tune in next Bye -bye. week on Friday. We will send out a reminder. And thank you so much for watching. We hope you found some good ideas. And again, if you know who this man is, let us know. Plus, all these pieces, if you aren't really wanting to create yourself, are for sale. So come in. That's true. <laughs> Except for this, I might keep it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> My kids are 25. But you know, that's okay. Have a great day. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.